one, two, a oh, one, two, three. <laughs> Everybody, uh, AJ Ford back again with another movie review, and today's review is for Dumb and Dumber 2. That's right, the long-awaited sequel that we waited 20 years for. But let's just forget about Dumb and Dumber. -er. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll talk about that in a second. But uh, Dumb and Dumber 2, of course, stars Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels as Harry and Lloyd. They're reprising their roles. It takes place 20 years after the last movie. Harry finds out that he has a daughter and they go out and try to find her. That's, it's pretty much the plot. You know, for a movie like this, you don't really need that big of a plot, you just need the jokes. Why even add the plot in there? So, okay, I'm a huge fan of the original Dumb and Dumber. To me, it is one of the best comedies of all time. I grew up with it. I quote it constantly, even though some people don't even know what the hell I'm talking about sometimes whenever I quote it. I frown upon those people. I thought both Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels had perfect comedic timing in it. And the movie, you know, it's just all around really, really fun. I don't really watch Dumb and Dumber for, you know, writing or acting or anything that makes a movie brilliant. You know, it's a movie called Dumb and Dumber. Just, it's like trying to fit two puzzle pieces together. It's not that hard. And then we got Dumb and Dumberer when Harry met Lloyd. It was crap. Pretty much the only funny part in Dumb and Dumberer was Bob Saget, who was only in it for a matter of five minutes, about him screaming about the poop that is on his car and in his bathroom. My ass is full of <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that was amusing, but, but the, the rest of the movie was just awful. So when I heard that Dumb and Dumber 2 was being made, I was of course skeptical. Was it gonna be as good? as Dumb and Dumber, or is it gonna suck like Dumb and dumber -er? <sighs> So, how did it hold up? Yeah, it kinda sucked. First, let me get my positive out of the way. Notice I say positive. One thing. And that is, uh, yes I did laugh. Out loud even. And Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels do their roles justice. I can't even imagine Jeff Daniels in a comedic role, but he was perfect in this movie. He made me laugh out loud many times in this movie. And you know, it's just so great to see Harry and Lloyd back together doing their wacky, dumb shenanigans. Because you know, they're two idiots and that's why you kind of laugh at them. So, on to the negatives now. Yeah, that was my only positive for the movie, was that it still felt like Harry and Lloyd. <sighs> oh, God. First of all, the story here is crap. Especially at the end. But I'll get to that soon. Oh, God. I'll get to that soon. But the story revolves around Harry trying to find his daughter that he hasn't seen in a matter of 20 years. Or was it 24? I don't know. I forget. And while that story may lead up to some great jokes, most of them actually, for me anyways, don't even get a laugh. I saw this in a packed theater, by the way. Most people laughed, but me and my friends, we didn't. We, right after the movie ended, I went up to my friends and then I literally just said, well, that sucked, and everyone else agreed with me. This movie is not that funny. Don't get me wrong, I did laugh, out loud even. But just because I laugh at a movie does not mean that the movie is 
good. When we get to the reveal of Harry's daughter near the middle and end, uh, she is probably the weakest person in this movie because she is not funny and she is not well developed at all. I don't even know why she was in the movie, especially at the end, which I will talk about soon. It's going to be a spoiler, by the way. <clears throat> it's going to be a spoiler for the ending at the end of this video. Just letting you guys know, ending of Dumb and Dumber 2 is going to be spoiled. I don't know why anyone would care. I'm just letting you know. Here, she just felt forced. When you have a character like this in a comedy like Dumb and Dumber, who has kind of a big role to the plot, you've got to at least make her just as funny, if not funnier, than the two main guys, Harry and Lloyd. But here, all of her jokes just felt forced. Every single one of them did not make me laugh. I hated her. She was useless in this movie. I don't know why she was in this movie to begin with. I hated her. And there's some subplot going on with involving Rob Riggle who is trying to kill her and Harry and Lloyd because I don't know it, it, it's just out of nowhere is it just to like create conflict I don't know it just happens it was it just to kind of live up to the movie's name why was Rob Riggle even in this? He doesn't do anything. He's just a, an assassin who just tries to kill the daughter to get with her stepmom who doesn't even want to be with her stepdad so she wants to kill him. And I don't know. Nothing in this movie is explained. I know it's dumb and dumber and I shouldn't be complaining, but God, this kind of thing annoys me in movies. This movie is annoying. Not like loud and obnoxious, but there are too many plot holes everywhere. It just annoys the living crap out of me. I'm, I'm thinking too deep into this, okay. So uh, let's go to the ending, which in my opinion is the biggest problem with this movie. Spoilers, by the way. Spoilers. Uh, skip to that. Skip to that time above me to avoid any spoilers in case you actually really care about how this movie ends, or unless you don't care. Spoilers. Yeah, so um, apparently there's another plot going on where Harry needed a kidney. Yeah, apparently Harry did not even need a kidney, nor was Harry's daughter even his daughter. You find out that the girl that he supposedly knocked up, he didn't knock up. That is like the biggest middle finger you can ever give to a movie. I don't care if your movie is called Dumb and Dumber. Make the ending <laughs> make sense to the plot. What, why was this whole movie even made if you're just going to end it like that? Why was it made if you're just going to end it like that? That just completely defeats the whole purpose of everything that you're trying to accomplish with said sequel. So overall, I thought, the, I thought Dumb and Dumber 2 was just messy at best. And also, it is probably one of the worst movie-going experiences I've ever had. Nobody shut up. I could hear the audience more than I could hear the speakers. It started to calm down like 20, 25 minutes in. But then there were still those little pieces of crap in the theater who just wouldn't stop talking, who don't care about the people around them. And yeah, that almost completely ruined the movie for me. Most of the side characters felt underdeveloped. And while it did have some good gags, I just thought it could have been a lot more funny if more talent was involved. Also, this movie just felt a little too long. It's 
almost two hours long. It does not need to be. There are many times where the movie could have ended and the movie would have been fine. If you really, really want to see it, go ahead. I'm gonna give it a rent it. Go rent it. it, it it's not a movie worth seeing in the theater. It's just not that good. And remember guys, that's just my opinion. Oh, one, two, three.